It's a feature documentary, uh, best described as an intimate portrait of the legendary filmmaker Werner Herzog, um, with whom I have worked over the years and been close friends with. And this was a film I made while we were making a feature film that we had co-written. And what was it about Werner that inspired you to make a film? Well, he's, uh, as, as Francois Truffaut said many years ago, Werner Herzog is the greatest living filmmaker. So it, it didn't take a lot to inspire me. And since I had this relationship with him and we were working on a film that we had co-written, yeah. uh, it seemed that I had a duty almost to, uh, given the access I had, to record, document, bear witness to what happens behind the scene. Bear witness to Werner Herzog. Yeah, because Werner, uh, you know, he's a, a public figure and he has a larger than life kind of mythical public persona. But this film gives you a glimpse uh, of Werner as known only to his close friends and collaborators. So it's okay. unusual in that way. And was Werner happy with that? Because as you say, you know, Werner is this larger than life yeah. uh, person. He's making documentaries one minute and then he's turning up in the next Jack Reacher film. Right. You know, he's a very, he's a character. Yes. Was he happy with you, you know, showing this more, I suppose, intimate side of him? Yeah, well, I wouldn't have gone forward with the film if I hadn't his blessing. And yeah. actually, as I started filming while we were on set, making a feature film, Ballad of a Righteous Merch, I'm sorry, uh, My Son, My Son, What Have You Done, uh, I thought he would immediately tell me to shut the camera off when I pulled it out, but he didn't. So I assumed he was complicitous in the project. We were co-conspirators in this. Uh, he's seen the film several times, and he's given it his blessing, and he, I go so far as to say he likes the film.